From the desperate conditions of the camps of Libya to this. Nearly two weeks at sea and a big storm has blown up on the western Mediterranean. As the storm approached, the crew prepared their passengers for what was coming. We are going to move everybody from the aft deck inside. 32 people, men, women and little children are now huddled below deck. Many are seasick, facing several more days of high winds and rough seas. Many nationalities are represented here. Refugees running from Libya include Ashwil Abdullah, who has already escaped the war in South Sudan. I'm here on this boat by the grace of God and thanks to the people of the ship. Life in Libya was very difficult. People are dying every day. You get taken, you get put in a room, you get tortured. Every moment you're in Libya, your heart beats hard. You don't know what will happen next. Since their rescue more than 13 days ago, the refugees' needs have been relayed to governments around Europe. The Netherlands has made an offer to take some of the people on board, but only if other nations step forward too. It's part of the hard line taken by many European Union nations against the arrival of people from Libya. Italy has refused to allow any NGO rescue ships to land refugees, and Malta itself has prevented NGO ships from operating out of ports on the island. We still await news of whether we can go into a port of safety and put an end to this situation. Uh, our passengers on board are now beginning to feel very uncomfortable and uh, desperate for a solution. The best that Sea Watch's crew can hope for is that some other country steps forward to offer these people the chance to claim asylum. Until then, Sea Watch has little option but to wait off Malta for something to change. Karaleg, Al Jazeera.